Lesson 7.3, Add Fractions with Like Denominators Using Models. We can add fractions with like denominators by using models to help us. We can use fraction strips, grid paper, a quick drawing, or a number line to model the problems. Using fraction strips, we can model an addition equation with several unit fractions. Then we can combine them to get a sum. If we have one-fifth plus three-fifths, we can put a one-fifth fraction strip and three one-fifth fraction strips for three-fifths. We have four-fifths. Using grid paper, the common denominator tells us how many squares to use. We're adding one-sixth plus two-sixths there's going to be six squares in all. We use six squares for our grid. We shade in one square for one sixth, and then shade in two squares for the two sixths. And the numerator of the sum will be the number of shaded squares in all, three. And the denominator of the sum will be the common denominator. We can also draw a quick picture to add fractions with like denominators. Miss Kim sold two-eighths of a pie in the morning and three-eighths in the afternoon. How much of the pie did she sell? They have the same denominator eight. They are like denominators. Like denominators mean they have the same denominator. She sold two-eighths of the pie in the morning and three-eighths in the afternoon. We need to add two-eighths and three-eighths. We draw a quick picture by making a circle for the pie, and we can split it into eight equal parts. To split it into eight equal parts, we put a line splitting it into two equal parts. Then we cross that line. Now we have four equal parts. We draw a line to split those in half, and then we're going to draw a line to split these in half. Now, it looks like we have a pie with eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can shade in two parts, then shade in three parts. We count the shaded parts. One, two, three, four, five. Two eighths plus three eighths is equal to five eighths. Five eighths of the pie was sold. The numerator of the sum will be the total of the shaded equal size parts. So if you look, we had the same denominator. It had a common denominator. They're like, we just added the numerators, didn't we? Because the denominators were the same, we just added the numerators. Two plus three is five. We have five eighths. And the denominator tells us how many equal parts there are. It tells us each part is one eighth of the whole. It tells us there's eight equal size parts in all. And of course the numerator is the shaded part. Sophia needs two strips of ribbon to decorate a birthday card. One strip will be four twelfths foot long and the other ribbon will be three twelfths foot long. She has a strip of ribbon that is five twelfths foot long. Is Sophia's ribbon long enough to decorate the birthday card? And we can use a number line to model the problem. She needs a strip that is four twelfths long. So we have our number line marked from zero twelfths to twelve twelfths for one. And she needs a strip that is four twelfths. She needs another strip that is three twelfths. That's seven twelfths. Four twelfths plus three twelfths is equal to seven twelfths. And because the sum is greater than the length of ribbon she has, she only has five twelfths. Sophia doesn't have enough ribbon. We add the fractions and compare the sum to five twelfths. Seven twelfths is greater than five twelfths, so she doesn't have enough. Here we've got four ninths plus two ninths. In our grid, 
We see the denominator is 9, so there's 9 squares. It tells us the whole is split into 9 equal parts. We have 4 parts and 2 parts. That's equal to 6 parts of the 9 parts in all. And we can write 6 ninths in simplest form. We have the same denominator. They're like denominators, so we just added the numerator and got 6 ninths. We can write the 6 ninths in simplest form by dividing the numerator and denominator by a common factor. And the factors of 6 are 1 times 6, 2 times 3, so we have 1, 2, 3, and 6. And the factors of 9 are 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. The common factor is 3. We divide the numerator and denominator by that same number 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. In simplest form, it's equal to 2 thirds. When the denominators are the same, we have like denominators. And we only add the numerators. Here the denominators are 11. We just add the numerators. 5 plus 3 is 8. We have 8 elevenths. And we would read this as 5 elevenths plus 3 elevenths is equal to 8 elevenths. Here we have 2 fifths plus 3 fifths. They have like denominators, so we just add the numerators. We get 2 plus 3 is 5. We have 5 fifths. That's equal to one whole. If it's split into five equal parts and we have all five of them, it's the same thing as one whole. When the numerator and denominator are the same number, the fraction represents one whole. We have five parts, and all five of the parts are shaded. The whole thing is shaded. We have one whole. Two-fifths plus three-fifths equals five-fifths. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. A sum has four add-ends. Each add-end is a unit fraction, and the sum is one. What are the add-ends? So we think a unit fraction always has one as the numerator and tells us the part of the whole that one piece represents. If there are four unit fraction add-ends that equal one whole, their denominators must be a 4. We have 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. We have 4 fourths. That's equal to 1 whole. Now this one is for the students who like art. This is a tessellation. A tessellation is a pattern made of one or more shapes, and the shapes fit together with no gaps. That means no spaces. and the shapes do not overlap each other. So here we have a lot of triangles. So what fraction of this tessellation is blue or yellow? So we think all the shapes are equal size triangles. And we can count the blue and yellow and count how many triangles in all. For blue, there's one, two, three, four. We have four blue and we have one, two, three, yellow. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 triangles in all. That means if there are 4 blue out of 14, we have 4 fourteenths. And if there are 3 yellow out of 14, we have 3 fourteenths. We can add the 4 plus 3 together because they have the same denominator. We get 7 fourteenths. We can write 7 fourteenths in simplest form. 7 is half of 14. We have 1 7 here. We can fit 2 7s here. And we can divide them by the common factor 7. 7 divided by 7 is a 1. 14 divided by 7 is a 2. Half are blue or yellow. Our next lesson, 7.4, we're going to talk about how to subtract fractions that have like denominators using models. I hope you have a really great day. Stay strong, and I'll see you next time. Bye.